Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick from Nick Expose. On this episode of Two Minute Tuesday, I want to bring up another topic that I've just been thinking about over and over over the last few months and uh, really like the last four or five months, but it's this idea that it's not about photography or it's not entirely about photography. And actually, I was reading this book last night, Andre Cartier-Bazan's um, Interviews and Conversations. This is a book that just came out from Aperture this last year and it's fantastic. I was finishing up this uh, last night when I came across a couple quotes that I feel like really emphasize what it is that I'm trying to say today. So the first quote goes like this, it's looking that's important, not photography. And it's so simple and it's so brilliant from Brisson. He's such an amazing mind. If you've ever read any of his interviews or anything like that, it really is incredible to read through some of his thoughts. But I really feel like that really grabs the idea and it's it's really the looking, right? The seeing, the perceiving, the looking and, and, and recognizing something that's in front of our camera that we then use our photography to capture. I actually wrote this in my notes a while back. It says, the moment photographs become extremely engaging is the moment when it ceases to be about photography and moves on to something more. And it's just been something that I've been wrestling through and just thinking through. Uh, I threw it out on the, the live stream last week, but I would almost say that 90% of photography isn't about photography at all. And the, you know, the percentage really doesn't make any difference and you know, that's a percentage that I made up, but it really feels like that to me. It feels like 10% is actually learning the gear, learning the techniques, learning the compositional structures, then everything else is us being curious enough to explore life and explore life that's happening in front of our lens. Another quote from Bersan says, technique is important only insofar as you must master it in order to communicate what you see and what you want to say. Again, I love that. And it's, I know that this is a simple topic, but at the same time, I think within photography specifically, we can get so caught up on photography. We watch interviews with other photographers. We watch gear reviews and all these. We've already talked about gear a lot on the channel, and that's not necessarily what I'm talking about right now. But this idea of trying to dive further into photography will only get us so far. I heard Ralph Gibson talk about it in the past where he says there's only so much history available in photography, but once you start looking at things that have been around for centuries and centuries and centuries, you're going to find much more history and you're going to find much more language to really bring into photography. So it's not necessarily about photography. In fact, photography was never invented for photography. It was invented to capture things and to preserve things and to, you know, just photograph things and remember things and it's all about about the life that's happening in front of the lens. I'll finish off with one last quote and it says, uh, this is actually from David Dushman, who's a fantastic photographer. I'm going to link to his channel up here and down below because uh, you guys definitely need to check out his YouTube channel as well. But the first work of the photographer is not to use the camera, but to see. And I really want to talk about this today on our live stream and really dive in deep because I think, you know, if, if you guys are anything like me, I spent so long really diving into photography and it's necessary. It's necessary to get in and learn the gear and learn the techniques and all these different things. But at the same time, our main job as a photographer is to see is to recognize, is to be curious of life that's happening in front of our lens. And I wanna dive into that. So I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments down below. What do you guys think of these? Um, I highly suggest checking out this book. I am gonna to link to it down below. It will be an affiliate link. Um, so that doesn't charge you any extra, but it does help to support the channel. I get a small commission from that. If you don't want to uh, support the channel, you can just type in Henri Cartier-Bazan and uh, type in interviews and conversations, and I guarantee you'll find it. But I look forward to diving into this on the live stream later on today. So as always, we're going to join in at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard right here on YouTube Live. We're going to dive in deep on this subject and kind of see where this goes. I'm really excited to see where this conversation in particular really starts to go. Uh, I think it could bring us to some great, great places. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and check out some of the other videos. We've got tons of stuff going into the thought process behind our work, going into the diving deep on, you know, seeing really is what it's all about. And uh, then we also have some other stuff on the channel that I think you're going to find interesting and useful as well. We have an amazing community here, so we'd love for you to join the conversation and, uh, and join the community. So like and subscribe down below. I will see you guys on the live stream later on today. Leave your comments down below. I want to start talking about this right away, and I'll see you guys at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. Until then, go and push yourself two stops.